Yeah. <laughs> Fair warning, folks. This video will contain a lot of foul language. What, are you going to have sex with me? I'm going to need some sex some point soon. Yeah, sex. Yeah, because I'm human. That's what I want. That's what he wants. It's a thing. <laughs> Men want to be treated as equals. Men have minds and they have emotions. Maybe you pull your fucking head out of your ass, Alyssa, and understand that that's not some sort of space creature that you're dealing with. That's another human being. There's nothing wrong with calling out individuals. But what you do, Alyssa, is call them all into one group and bash them. Just like all the other feminazi cunt bags out there. You bash them in a group and then you wonder why it is they don't want to fuck you anymore. Fuck you, Alyssa. Fuck you. Now, woman splaining with Tabitha. Hi, we're back for another episode of Woman Splaining with Tabby. And today's dumbass is Alyssa Milano. Alright, come on down, Alyssa. She started out pretty good in her youth. You know, she did TV acting, then did the series Charmed, which, yeah, I was the douchebag who watched that shit. Um, and then she had a baby, and this is where the insanity begins. It starts off pretty slow and, you know, tolerable, where I don't really see a problem. Um, she started out with breastfeeding in public movement, which I'm totally cool with. I do believe you should probably put a little baby binky blanket over the top of your tit. But, you know, maybe don't whip it out and actually lay it on the table. But, um, so she started out pretty good beginning talking about things like that. You know, um, being anti-slut shaming, very pro-female power, all of that crap. Just a good start. She's gone completely insane as of now. Okay, she started with jumping on board the hashtag... Me Too movement, which is actually the Pound Me Too movement, so that's really fucking hilarious that they didn't catch that. But, um, so she started off with that, in which case, in which time it was found that one of the other leading icons of the hashtag Me Too movement was also a fucking pedophile. Well, Alyssa here didn't bother to call her out and or disavow her as even being her friend. So, Alyssa underhandedly has coddled the pedo in the movement still stands behind the hashtag pound you know the whole pound me too movement because she's a fucking idiot really all right then it moved on to her trying to be really political where she told everybody hand me one hand me my hat where she told everybody who listens to her fucking dumbass that this was the same as wearing a white sheet N no 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 no, Alyssa, no. It's not how this works, especially when you have a shitload of African Americans, Hispanics, and Asians wearing it as well. That's a really diverse crowd of KKK members, Alyssa. Just insanely diverse. That's as bad as Ben Affleck, ben Affleck saying that that's gross and that's racist when told that criticism of a religion is cool. This is the same kind of stupidity, Alyssa. Same kind of stupidity. And now she's gone to, let's be a protester. Okay, you guys in Hollywood, weren't you going to protest, Georgia? I thought you were all going to boycott. Did that not work out for you, Alyssa? Mm. Did Georgia not give a fuck if Hollywood doesn't like it? Yeah. That's a real big ego you got there, Alyssa. Mm, immense. I'm astounded at how narcissistic you are, Alyssa. It, it, it truly amazes me. You think that you and your fucking airheads in Hollywood actually run the world. If we boycott Georgia, they'll do what we want. We want infanticide. You want after delivery abortions, Alyssa. Tell me, if we were to look at your, I don't know, banking information the same way that you all want Trump's banking information just spread out there, would we find that Planned Parenthood has been giving you kickbacks? Is that what we would find? Because Probably. the way you are so rabid about, we have to have this, this must happen, even though you're not really listening to what the crowd is saying. Okay, here's the thing. The conservatives, 
the majority of them are saying abortion's okay, so long as you're, one, not using it as a fucking contraception for stupid, and two, not doing it past the first trimester, right? You've got three months within that first fucking trimester, Alyssa. You know this. You gave birth. You have three fucking months before it is technically declared alive, all right? If you're too fucking lazy to go get the abortion within that time period, that's another one that the conservatives are saying, fuck you on, okay? If you're going to be lazy, fuck you, okay? Now, as for victims of rape and medical emergency, any conservative is going to say the same thing except for the small fringe of assholes that no one likes, by the way, okay? Which do not speak for the entire group, okay? Okay? Shitloads of conservatives. In fact, a large chunk of the country is fucking conservative. And they would all agree that if you were raped, you should be allowed to have that abortion. Within the three months! Okay? If you are in your last trimester and it turns out that the baby is going to kill you before delivery. As heartbreaking as it is to most conservatives to say this, they would agree to say yes. The mother's life is at stake. Get rid of the baby. She can try again. All right? It's a very small fringe that is like, no, not at all. And then there's you, Alyssa, who sits there and goes, it's okay, just look the other way. Oh, my God, conservatives are just a bunch of woman-hating assholes. Bitch, women are the majority in this country, and if there's a shitload of fucking some conservatives, you can basically do the math and say that there's a shitload of females in this country that say infanticide is not okay with them. Yeah. So quit trying to make it. It's just the conservative men with their balls. They're just so evil. They want to control us. I know. Let's go and we'll boycott Georgia because we're from Hollywood and everybody bows to us. Yeah? <laughs> Fuck you, Alyssa. Fuck you. Seriously. I will send you the dildo in a how-to manual so you can go fuck yourself. This is retarded. And now you've gone one step further because, of course, Georgia basically gave you the fucking bird, as it should. I mean, the, the, you know, the, the people who are in charge of Georgia, they don't bow to you. They're supposed to be there serving the public in Georgia. You don't even fucking live there. How arrogant are you right now? I don't care what the voters in Georgia want. I want this, and I'm going to get this. How dumb is it? You're a feminist, right, Lissa? You're a fucking feminist. Okay, you seem to think that, that on one hand you get to go, women are not sexual objects and it's wrong. You've just turned every fucking woman you asked to fucking boycott with the snatch into a sexual object. Alright? You, you've just told them all, you run the world based upon what's in your pants and what's in your pants alone. It has nothing to do with how smart you are. It's your vagina that runs the world. Is it... Alyssa, not everybody's in Hollywood. Yes, this is the reality for you because that's how you fucking get roles. We got this. All right? You spread your legs and whoo hoo hoo you've got a job. That's Hollywood, not the real world. In the real world, most women are valued upon their fucking mind. They actually are. Yeah. They, we've got a vapid waste but land of dumbasses who run around just primping and prodding and, oh, look at me, I'm stupid, and then there's the shallow guy that will fuck that. But the majority of Americans aren't that poster girl pretty, so they can walk around stupid and crazy and still get fucked or married. The rest of us women have brains, and when you pander to us like that, it pisses us the fuck off. Who the fuck are you to tell me what I can and cannot do with my vagina? Who the fuck are you to suggest that I don't sleep with my husband until he does what I want? What kind of shit is that? That's sick, Alyssa. And it's, and it's hypocritical. Because you also sit there and you go that women are smart, intelligent creatures. You all the time fucking say it's not okay to judge a woman and treat her that way. You just did, Alyssa! And, the, and worse off, you told them to treat themselves that way. Okay? Oh, but I was just trying to do a good thing. No, you were trying to push infanticide on a state that doesn't fucking want it. That's what you're trying to do. And since you can't get that, you're just determined to turn the women there into fucking homemade prostitutes. 
where they fucking give their snatch to their husband only after he votes the way they want him to, as if they don't have voter rights or something. You, what, you think these bitches don't go out and vote? Against what you want? If it were the other way around, Alyssa, it would be totally legal, you know? What, are you fucking missing something? Yeah, I know, you're missing brain cells, obviously. If you think that it is okay for you to be such a fucking hypocrite and not see it. You turned, you just told women to turn themselves into prostitutes, Alyssa. You fucking told them to do that. And I'm sure you did it with an arrogant smile on your face as you tippity typed away on your computer. Everybody should do as I say because I'm Alyssa Milano and I used to be famous. <laughs> Fuck you, Alyssa. We're not whores, all right? You Hollywood bitches are whores. That's what the whole Pound Me Too movement thing was all about, was the fact that you Hollywood whores got shown as the whores that you are, and you thought, hmm, how can we clean this up? Because I didn't really want my fans to know that I was a cocksucker like that. Oh, I know! Let's say it was rape, even though it was consensual, and technically a trade deal, because I got the job after sucking his balls. Yeah, that's called prostitution. You, you need to get on the meds, Alyssa. <laughs> Okay, I'm I'm be, I'm really worried about you. Your weight has dropped quite a bit. I'm wondering, have you been getting enough protein in your diet because you're suffering mentally, and it's beginning to really fucking show. In fact, it's been showing for a while. You know, it's just I am astounded, Alyssa. I'm fucking astounded. You're like this far under AOC at the moment. So yeah, Alyssa, no, women are not whores and you can't tell them to withdraw their fucking vagina from their husbands. Any therapist would tell you the same thing when it comes to couples counseling. Don't deny your husband sex. You know why, Alyssa? Because not every man on this planet is going to put up with that shit. You're going to get three options. Either he has no balls and he takes it and caves, or... He tells you to go fuck yourself, and he divorces you, and then fucks his way through the fucking local bars. Or number three, he stays with you, says nothing, and fucks his way through all the fucking local bars. All right? There's your three options, Alyssa. All right? And here's the thing. Very few men are going to take option one, which is you cut off my nuts and I let you do and say whatever the fuck you want to me because <laughs> vagina. Um, number two is the more likely... But then you have number three over here. These two are pretty close, almost neck and neck. So you basically told a bunch of women to prostitute themselves. And in doing so, you've pro anyone who follows that, you've probably destroyed their marriages. Mm -hmm. Because most men are going to take option two and three. They're not going to sit there and let you stomp on their nut sacks and tell them that <sighs> I'm a woman. Ah, oh, hear me roar, respect my vagina, and fuck your, vi fuck your dick, fuck your dick. You, you're just an ugly, disgusting man. All you want is my vagina. Bitch, I didn't think your husband walked through the door, kicking it open and going, Hey, bitch, show me your vagina. No, he goes home and says, Hi, honey. But no, you're waiting there like a fucking cunt. Legs sealed together with fucking glue. Going, I won't give you any sex, you pig. Until you vote the way I want you to. Yeah, I don't see a lot of men putting up with that. Mm-hmm. You don't want it. I'm not a guy, but I can guess from, I don't know, observing males in their natural habitats. Yeah, you got to take it a little like, you know, you're watching zebras in the wild or some shit. Because, you know, men are completely different than women mentally. And physically, they're very fucking different. That's so it is kind of like it is kind of like a That's national. <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> From what I've observed of men, they don't like being put in a corner. Okay, unless there's something mentally strange about them. Most men want to be treated as an equal, want to have some respect, and they want a woman who's willing to not only have sex with them, because that is one of the prerequisites for most heterosexual men. Is, will you please have sex with me? I mean, as a woman, that's kind of like a definite has to be written into the contract of a relationship. What, are you going to have sex with me? I'm going to need some sex some point soon. Yeah, sex. Yeah, because I'm a human. That's what I want. That's what he wants. It's a thing. 
Yeah. But there are very few men that are going to put up with a woman who comes through the fucking door hollering and screaming and telling him that all he is is a dick with two balls and all he wants is her vagina. Yeah. Men want to be treated as equals. Men have minds and they have emotions. Maybe you pull your fucking head out of your ass, Alyssa, and understand that that's not some sort of space creature that you're dealing with. That's another human being. Albeit very different from you mentally. Very different from you physically. But still a fucking human being and should be treated as one. You've just turned all men into a wallet. Okay? All a man is is a dick. That's that's not fair, Alyssa. You don't get to go, women should be given more respect and then try your damnedest to cut all respect giving toward men. Right? <laughs> Fuck all men. They're all evil. Does your husband fit in that category, Alyssa? When you talk shit about men, you're talking shit about your own husband. I hope you know that. All right? It's not, well, I'm, you know, I can say something bad about a guy and it's fine. Yeah, a guy. For a particular reason. Somebody who you know did something that's fucked up. That's an individual. There's nothing wrong with calling out individuals. But what you do, Alyssa, is call them all into one group and bash them. Just like all the other feminazi comp bags out there. You bash them in a group and then you wonder why it is they don't want to fuck you anymore. Gee, I wonder, Alyssa. I fucking wonder. Right? And I hope, I hope you lose followers followers from this. I hope pe these women wake up and go, she just tried to turn me into a prostitute. She just told me I'm no more than a vagina. I'm no more than sex. That's it. I, that's all I'm good for is sex. That's, that's my power. It's between my fucking legs. It's no different than when a woman says that a man is nothing but a dick because he only thinks with his dick, Alyssa. It's the same slur. Just different body part. It's all you've done. Is tell all of these women, you're nothing but a vagina. You have no brain. You have no personality. You're just legs with a hole. Fuck you, Alyssa. Fuck you. Don't forget to subscribe. And this video can be found on BitChute. And um, if you feel like donating to us, go ahead. We have a subscribe star. You can, you know, donate to us through that. We certainly wouldn't mind being paid for our hard work. And we do work very hard. If you like it and you want to donate, go right ahead. Keep watching. Bye.